So just a little bit of background. Um, so many of you, uh, we've got a lot of systematic review authors on the line, will be aware that there is a, a very large number of um, trials that are being produced. And you can see by that graph, really an exponential increase in the number of trials. So in 2010, there was estimated there were 75 trials being published a day. It takes a very long time for those studies to get into systematic reviews. So this is an analysis with a selection of reviews in the area of neurotrauma and the median time it takes, it took for a randomised controlled trial to be published from, from publication to get into a systematic review was between two and a half to six and a half years. And then uh, I suspect some of you will be familiar with this um, information, which, which comes from a paper that's a little bit older now, which looks at how long a systematic review the findings of a systematic review remain accurate. So the median time that a systematic review remains accurate before it becomes out of date, because there's new information that changed the conclusions, is five and a half years. And if you look at the two year mark, at two years, only 75% of systematic reviews are still, uh, their conclusions are still accurate. So there's quite a long lag time uh, and a lot of um, places and steps within trying to get trials into systematic reviews and then publishing systematic reviews, which as we know, can often take quite a bit of time. That means that we've got what we call a currency versus quality trade-off. So it's quite hard to keep a review up to date at the same time as doing all of the rigorous processes and steps that are involved to ensure that it's high quality. So a couple of years ago, Julian and Tari and colleagues published a paper introducing the concept of the living systematic review as a way to try and break this quality currency trade-off. And in the last few years, we've seen a number of people starting to experiment with living systematic reviews, including within Cochrane, and I've been involved for the last 12 months taking forwards the living systematic review concept within Cochrane and seeing whether we can pilot uh, living Cochrane reviews. 